Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's math class. Let us continue the problems from the chapter Surface Areas and Volumes. Here we need to do the problem 8 from the exercise 13.2. Okay. Now, a spherical glass vessel has a cylindrical neck 8 cm long and 2 cm in diameter. The diameter of the spherical part is 8.5 cm. Look at this uh, picture here. There is a spherical vessel. Here there is neck which is in the cylindrical shape. So uh, the height of the cylindrical portion is 8 cm and the base, the base diameter of the cylindrical portion is 2 cm. And also the spherical portion diameter is 8.5 cm is given. Now by measuring the amount of water it holds it, the, it holds a child finds its volume to be 345 centimeter cube so it was the volume given by a child okay now check whether she is correct or not taking the above as inside measurements and pi is equal to 3.14 Okay, now let us do it. We need to find the volume of the water contained in the spherical vessel. This is the spherical vessel. Okay, now in this, so observe, there is a cylinder and a sphere. Okay, we need to find the volume of the water means volume of the container, volume of the vessel. So, the problem number 8, volume of water present in the vessel is equal to volume of the vessel. So the volume of the vessel is a combination of a cylinder and a sphere. So this can be taken as volume of the cylinder plus volume of the sphere okay now what is the volume of a cylinder formula we can take it as pi r square h plus volume of a sphere formula 4 third pi r cube okay this is cubic units okay now here we have the diameter of the cylinder the diameter of this cylinder is equal to d let us take it as d1 is equal to 2 centimeters this implies r1 is equal to 1 centimeters radius okay therefore radius r1 and diameter of the sphere d2 let us take it as d2 that is 8.5 centimeters therefore its radius r2 is equal to 8.5 by 2 that is 4.25 centimeters okay by these values we will get therefore volume of the water in the vessel is equal to here look at this pi r square h that is pi r1 square h and this is pi r2 square r2 cube so we have taken the volume the radius of the cylinder as r1 and the volume of the sorry radius of the sphere is r2 so now what we can do here pi can be taken common pi into r1 square r1 is 1 1 square into h what is h h is 8 plus 4 by 3 into pi pi has taken common so we can write r2 r2 is 8 4.25 whole cube Okay, 
centimeter cube. Now let us simplify this. Pi value, pi value is given in the brackets that is 3.14. 3.14 into 1 square 1 into 88 plus 4 by 3 4.25 whole cube is 425 by 100 has to be written for 3 times centimeter cube ok now 3.14 can be written as 314 by 100 into 8 plus here look at this 4 25 25 17 425 and 25 fours are and 4 25 17 here also 25 fours and 25 17 okay now we will write 17 into 17 into 17 by so, by 4 into 3 into 4 to what? 4 is 48. Now, 314 by 100 uh, can be, so let us leave like this. And, so 48 into 8, 384, 384 plus 17, 17s, 289 into 17. 4913 by 48. Now this can be written as 314 by 100 into, see let us check once again. Okay, correct only. So 311, so that is 192. Okay. Now 4913 plus 384 can be written as 79. 215 five, 527 by what is this 48 here in two table we can cancel 224s and two 157s so let us multiply 157 and 5297 already did it 831629 by <coughs> 2400 by because 100 into 24 so by dividing this I got 346.51 centimeter cube. Okay. So this is approximately. Okay. This is the volume of the vessel. Water in the vessel is equal to this one. <coughs> so uh, the, the girl the child has given the value 345 centimeter cube therefore the value given by the child is wrong so it is wrong by 1.57 cent 51 centimeter cube okay please copy this problem 